Ooh, it's still very hot. That cutlet is humongous. What? In today's video, we spend the day exploring the amazing sights of Macau. Of course, we also had to try some of Macau's unique street food. Hope you're hungry! Good morning guys, it's Marley here. We're in Macau. Unfortunately, it still seems a bit wet outside. It's still raining, so I'm not sure what we're going to start our day off with today. Oh, look at the rain. So we've caught a taxi into Macau City. Our first stop is Margaret's Cafe for their Portuguese egg tarts. We want to see how this compares to Lord Stowe's egg tarts. I think the backstory is that Margaret is Lord Stowe's ex-wife and then she's opened a cafe here. Let's head on in and get some tarts. It has a nice crunch at the end as well and that filling. It's a lot more eggier but I think it actually has a nicer flavor. Mm. My turn. A little bit burnt on the top. The bottom, it looks really crispy. Let's try it. Mm. Nice crunchy base. It's really flaky and the egg custard itself slightly sweet it's really yummy mm. I like it it's really good it's a bit cheaper than Lord Stowe's Lord Stowe's was 12 this is 10 Hong Kong dollars for one next time I think I'll get half a dozen mm. Right now we're in front of Dai Lei Loi Gei, which is famous for their pork chop bun. I've got a pork chop inside a toasted pineapple bun. It looks really interesting. The pork chop smells awesome. Let's try it. Mmm. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. All kinds of different texture there. The pork chop itself, really flavorful. The bun itself, crispy top, a little bit sweet, but it complements the saltiness of the pork chop really well. Mm. The top is crumbling. Oh mm. my god. The top is crumbling everywhere. Look at that coating. So this costs about 50 Hong Kong dollars, and it's an awesome snack. Mmm. This is their pork chop bun. It's pretty simple, just a slab of deep fried pork cutlet in between some soft toast bread. The bread roll feels really soft and they've warmed it up for us. Okay, I'm gonna try it. Mmm, that's really good. I didn't expect it to be, but that pork chop is actually really tasty. There's no sauce in there, but it doesn't even need it. It's really good. So we're gonna enjoy this, finish them off, and then head off to our next food stop. We're heading up to the ruins of St. Paul, which is a very popular tourist attraction. As expected, there's a lot of tourists here. I think it's like the number one tourist attraction in Macau. Make sure you get here early in the day. This is about 10 a.m. in the morning. I'm sure it'll get even busier during the afternoon. Just look at all the people. This is a view from the top 
of the ruins. That's the Grand Lisboa. I think that's how you say it. Just a quick history lesson of the ruins of St. Paul. It was originally a church that was built in the 1600s, but it was later destroyed by fire in the 1800s. Today it's a UNESCO heritage listed site of Macau. And all that's left is the facade and a lot of tourists. Whilst in Macau, every second shop, you're probably going to find a place that sells Portuguese egg tarts. We just picked up another Portuguese egg tart. This one was only eight Hong Kong dollars though. You can find this store right in front of the ruins of St. Paul. Mm. Mm. The pastry is not as good as what we've had before from Lord Stowe's and Margaret's, but it's still really good. For eight Hong Kong dollars, why not? Alright guys, so we're continuing our Macau food tour. We're at a place called Seiki Cafe for their pork chop bun. But their pork chop bun is a little bit different. Let's have a look. Why? Ooh, it's still very hot. The pork chop bun has an egg omelette inside. What? And that cutlet is humongous. So with the pork chop bun here, they actually cooked the pork chop right in front of you. You know it's fresh, it's hot, it's oily, it's crunchy. It smells amazing. Let's try it. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That pork chop is really good. The egg as well is quite fluffy and the bread itself is soft and toasted and they've also put some butter onto the bread itself. It doesn't have a dry feeling or anything like that. Mm. This is a solid pork chop bun and with the addition of the egg, awesome. Oh. oh my god. Oh, I feel like I have so much oil in my lips, but it's worth it. Really good. So here I have the red bean steamed milk, and this one is the cold version. Look how much red bean they put on top. Yum, I love anything red bean. Mm. The red bean is nice and sweet, which balances out with the milk, which is not that sweet. And the texture is so good. Custody texture, but it just dissolves in your mouth. Mm. So refreshing. Yep. Mm. It's really refreshing. It's got a milky taste to it. I wouldn't say the milk taste is as pronounced as the ones that we had in Hong Kong, but it's still pretty good. Mm. All right, guys, just gonna smash this steamed milk. We're heading over to the Grand Lisboa, which is the tallest building in Macau. And it's also a hotel and a casino. We're back on one of the free hotel shuttle buses on the way to Studio City now. I think we're just going to spend the rest of the afternoon hotel hopping. So, Studio City, next stop. Walking to our next hotel to explore, and it is the Parisian. And just like that, we are in Paris. 
I've never been to Paris, so I'm not sure how close this is to the real thing, but it looks pretty cool to me. Hey guys, just grabbing a quick bite at the Market Bistro in the Parisian Hotel. The Market Bistro has basically Chinese food. I've got here some barbecued pork, so char siu, and also some roast pork. And pour the uh, honey on top. Yep. Well, let's try some of that char siu. Yeah, that chai still so good. I love Chinese barbecue pork. And rice. Mm. Oh yeah. Let's try some of that roast pork. Mmm. So juicy and succulent. Oh wow. And that skin, so crispy. Pretty good for a hotel restaurant. The Market Bistro is also open 24 hours a day. So if you're feeling hungry, you can always hit up the Market Bistro. So I've ordered the baked pork chop with rice. It looks like a big pork fillet. It's baked with some cheese, tomato, and there's some rice under there. So I just got a spoonful of rice, and the cheese just oozes. Look at that stringy cheese. All right, let me try it. Mm. Oh my goodness. It kind of tastes like a cross between a lasagna with rice. Interesting combination, but it's nice. I'm going to try some pork now. Mm. That's really good. The pork is quite lean, but still really succulent, and it's crumbed in a type of bread, so it's still really crispy. I'm gonna have it with some rice now. That actually looks like a really good bite. Cheese, rice, tomato and pork. Yummy. so hot but that's actually really good our last hotel stop is Wynn Palace there's a fountain show at the front and a gondola ride whoa Hey guys, it's dinner time. We're at a restaurant called 99 Noodles at the Wind Palace in Macau. According to the menu, it seems like they serve predominantly northern Chinese food. We don't really know what northern Chinese food is, so we're keen to find out. First things first, got some entrees. This here is stewed pork in a bun. They've called it a pancake. It looks more like a bun to me. Ooh, smells good. Mmm, that's really good. You can see it's kind of been fried. The meat, it's really flavorful. It's like pulled pork with a lot of Asian flavors in it. It's really nice. I really like this one. 
Next, we've got the second appetizer. This is the beef and coriander pot stickers. Look at that. How interesting does that look? Dip it into the soy sauce. All right, let's try it. I'm excited about this one. Mmm. I really like that one. Especially when you dip it into the soy sauce mixed with a bit of vinegar. Makes this really taste really good. Load of filling in there, beef and coriander. Really good wrapper there. And a bit of crispiness from the, the fried bit on the bottom. Two really good starters. Mm. So one of the mains has arrived. This is the Sichuan style Dan Dan noodles with a bit of pork. That's a lot of noodles. Mmm, smells a bit peanutty there as well. It's a bit of peanuts in there. Oh, I'm salivating. You see how saucy that is? Let's get some of that sauce. Get a big bite. Mmm. Ooh. It's quite spicy. I think there's a bit of Szechuan pepper as well. It's making my tongue a little bit numb. It's got a really nice kick from all that spice. And the noodles, for my liking, the noodles are a little bit soft. I would have liked them a little bit more al dente. Otherwise, this is really nice. Oh, I'm starting to sweat a little bit because of the spice. <laughs> Mm. I've ordered the Shansi style hand pulled noodles in chili oil. Look how thick these noodles are. Oh my goodness. Let me get a good bite. Mmm. Mmm. Wow, that's spicy. Oh, that chili oil hits you straight away. I really like the texture of these noodles. So the noodle is a type of flat rice noodle. The texture is really firm, but it's really pleasant to eat. There's also a lot of garlic mixed in there as well. But the flavor works really well with the chili. All right, we're gonna enjoy this and we'll see you after dinner. That was a solid meal and 99 noodles. My mouth is on fire and my tongue is numb. But it was awesome, yeah. Back in the hotel room at the countdown. Hope you guys enjoyed watching us eat our way through Macau. Tonight we've got a bit of packing to do because tomorrow morning we're going to be heading into Shanghai, China. So stay tuned for that. If you guys enjoyed this Macau food tour, please give us a big thumbs up. Let us know what you thought about the video by leaving a comment below. If you haven't already done so, please hit the subscribe button. We're going to be uploading more and more food adventures. And as always guys, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. See ya.